Like all operations, there are some risks that every patient needs to be aware of and understand. But the vast majority of knee replacement patients have a complication-free recovery and a greatly improved quality of life. All patients will have some degree of mild, ongoing bleeding and oozing inside their knee for a few days after surgery. This is one of the reasons your knee is swollen. It is unusual for a patient to require a blood transfusion, but that could happen. Before your operation is complete, I'll ensure that your knee comes all the way out straight and bends all the way back. This way I know that the prosthesis is inserted correctly and there is no mechanical restriction to movement. However, pain and scar tissue formation after your surgery may limit movement. If we don't get your knee moving, the scar tissue will set in your knee like concrete and permanent stiffness could result. All knee replacements are initially painful and stiff after surgery and it does take time to regain this movement. This is one of the reasons that it is important to take regular pain medications after your surgery. Many patients don't like taking regular pain medications, but if you don't take them, you will be unable to participate in your rehabilitation and get your knee moving. You are much better off taking pain medication regularly, at least for the first two to four weeks, than not taking it and ending up with a stiff knee because you are in too much pain to get moving. A basic goal is to try and achieve a knee that is fully straight and bending to around 90 degrees before you leave hospital. For some patients, this will take a little longer to achieve and pain and swelling are the major barriers. It may take six to 12 weeks for you to regain the maximum range of motion possible. In general, a replaced knee does not bend as far as a natural knee. If your knee is already very stiff prior to surgery, then you have a greater chance of ongoing stiffness after surgery. This is because the muscles and tendons have become scarred and tight. Now if your knee is not bending and straightening as much as we would like by approximately three months, then occasionally a patient may require what is called a manipulation under anesthesia, where we gently bend and straighten your knee when you are asleep and there is no pain, thus breaking up scar tissue inside the joint to promote better movement. Injury to a major blood vessel is a very rare complication but if it did occur, you may require additional surgery to repair that blood vessel. Damage to a major nerve is also extremely rare, but if that occurred, you could be left with some permanent weakness. Infection is thankfully a very rare complication, occurring in less than 1% of patients. However, if you do have a deep infection inside your knee joint, it can be very challenging to treat. It will require further surgery to wash out the infection and several weeks of antibiotics. Sometimes, a number of operations may be required to remove the infected prosthesis and replace it with a new one. You'll be given antibiotics via a drip before and after your surgery to reduce the risk of infection. You'll also be given a scrub brush of antiseptic solution to wash your entire body with prior to surgery. I recommend the use of an antibacterial nasal ointment in the five days before joint replacement surgery. Your nose is a major reservoir of bacteria that can cause joint infections. By using the ointment, we reduce the number of these bacteria, and some studies indicate this may reduce the risk of an infection ever occurring in your joint replacement procedure. After your surgery, you will be given medication to gently thin your blood and reduce the risk of you forming a blood clot in your calf, otherwise known as a DVT. A blood clot in your calf in itself is not actually dangerous and your body will slowly dissolve the clot. However, if the blood clot travelled from your calf to your lungs, it could make you very unwell or even be fatal. This situation is fortunately very uncommon. We monitor you closely for signs and symptoms of this during your recovery after surgery. Now one of the most important things that I speak to my patients before they even consider knee replacement surgery is how satisfied they may be with their knee after surgery. The knee is the largest and most complex joint in your entire body. It is not just a simple hinge. Yes, it bends backwards and forwards, but it also rotates and slides. It also has a kneecap to add to the complexity. Your knee joint is also just below the surface of your skin. And all of these are factors as to why a prosthetic knee joint may not feel and move exactly the same way as your normal knee did. Remember, we are removing the old surface of your natural knee joint and replacing it with an artificial prosthesis. And not all patients will be 100% happy with how their new knee replacement feels. 
Thankfully, very few patients believe that they are worse off than they were before surgery. But occasionally this does occur. The vast majority of patients report significant improvement in their pain, function and quality of life. If you would like to talk to me about your knee, then please call my rooms at any time. If you haven't already had appropriate scans, I can easily arrange for these to occur before your appointment.